copy that. Yeah, it um, it appears that my modem just rebooted. That I can say wasn't Twitch. Weird. Very weird. Go. Okay. And let's try dock this thing. Docking before. Not that difficult. Of course. Now that I said that, I'd have a problem with it. Yeah, those words, my whole, um, not the server, but the, um, the ISP I used for Twitch went and restarted. Weird. So yeah, it's stuck. Okay. Oh, it didn't, it didn't actually... It didn't actually mention that it was stuck. Alright, so let's have a look. Let's have a look, see if we can figure this thing out. So it says around the bridge area. Okay. So let's see if we can find where the hell. Where the hell this breach is? Ah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, that was pretty hard to find. There's no... Oh, so that should do it. However... Uh, let me get back into the ship. I really... This thing is buggered as well now. And breathe. Open the door. So I can... Oh, I can breathe again. Okay, so air quality 100, air pressure... Oh! Yeah. Have I got a do have a server motor there? Server motor is there. Do I have another do? Right, so let's have a look. Oh I need a um, Air generator, resource injector. Um, where? Where's the? I do have a resource injector. Question is where to put this now? Hmm. Next to the door. There used, there used to be a thing over there. Um, which door? Oh, back here? Oh, there. Oh, I thought that was a square block. That's the problem. It doesn't look like that's actually... It fits in there. It needs to look like a hollow slot. Alright. Okay, so that's all. Resources reduces by 60%. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that's, a, that's going at maximum efficiency. 
Um, our power is at maximum efficiency as well. Well, no sun exposure at the moment. Oh, and Azus! Salute to you! Four months in a row, Azzy! Four months! Dance and hyping chat for Lady Azalus. Four months dance. <laughs> Thank you, Azzy. Almost halfway to a stream, baby. Keep up the good work, Tilung. D. The, yeah, <laughs> stream babies. Dance and stream babies. Oh, seven matcher. Stream babies for everyone. Have you had your stream baby today? That's the important part. Unload. Okay. And... Natural. Oxygen. Unload everything. Right, let's put this in there to recharge him. Right now, let's have a look here. Oh, I can't actually do... Hmm. Shit, I can't actually... How do, how do I get resources into that other ship now? That's actually an interesting thing. Is how do you get resources into the new ship? It's docked onto the port. But how do I get resources there? Partners? Blue Man Ship. Ah, oh, yeah, you go. Okay. Oh, okay, so I can just drag it across. You worship A. Um. You've got to make air. I thought the air halfway. Interesting. Interesting. Now, is there a security panel here? Where I can actually name this. One point. Alright, so. Nothing there. Whilst the air pressure is going up. Um, 
Oh, so that should be charged by now. Um, cat. Ah, so we can give this more oxygen and nitro. So, see, that's all completely full. So, this is back up and running. So, ah, blue man, all right, so I can actually pressurize this now. Uh, look, it's pressurizing properly. Pressurize everything. Okay, there it is. Oh, nice, nice. Look at that. Everything's pressurized. Yeah, this they've made this a lot better. You know, the control and everything, they've definitely improved the UI dramatically. All right, so everything except for the airlock room is pressurized. Um. That's online. Okay, so life support. All working there. Um, Blue Man Ship has got... Wow, the Blue Man Ship has got 600k capacitor. This one's only got 75k. Okay, so everything is... Oh wow, Azalus, it's... Um, they've improved a lot of the UI a ton. It's... um, It's actually harder now. If you can believe that, it's harder now. They have made it harder. So, one foot. But it's um, definitely some good improvements. Catalytic inject. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's all still running, so it's all on the server that runs. Yeah, so it's not like it's, um, you know, anytime you want, and again, anybody that wants to play can join. It's an uh, open server, so you could run into some good guys, goodies, and baddies. Quite electronic. Where can I put this?
Oh, just dump it down. Um. That's natural. Um, hmm. I went there. If I can... If I can put this in over here. Oh, I can. There's a nitro out. And... So, that's got nitro, that's got oxygen. Perfect. I'm in a debris field, so that's not good. Okay, so now we're going to see if we can actually look for... Now that this guy is up and running... Let's see... Oh. Probably gonna have to... Um... Throw in some more hydrogen. Finery. Um, now. Alright, so it's refining the dry ice. Alright. Alright, so let's see if we can get into our ship if we can find somewhere else to go to. Close door. There's my ship. Yeah, I can even put you can even put flags on it and stuff like that. find some something else to put in here. Okay. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, so everything is good here. We've got all these things still. We undocked. Now. Let's have a look. Okay. Automated refinery. Object cluster. been to these guys already haven't we? Okay let's go to broken marble. It's not in the class at the moment. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. Zyth, the update is really, really good. The, they've really polished a lot of the stuff. Uh, yeah, that warp is not a good idea. The way this works is so much better. The building supply post. Yeah, so I'm planning on playing the whole week. I've got this is a uh, we've got a server running that is open, so anybody can join it. So if you are keen in joining, you are welcome to. Wow. Yeah, you see, I can actually try come down here. Oh, so this is like new custom orbit thing. too low. Let's 
Let's go try this. Is efficient throw. Adjust maneuver time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it actually tells you what it is. Adjust maneuver time. Time to arrive. Oh, three hours. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out this this new I says speed too low. That's a little bit uh, weird. Oh, well, let's look at something else then. Are we on Bithia? speed to low now. I just don't remember how to do all this. I don't quite know what they mean. Keep too low. Adjust maneuver time. Ah, there. Oh, wow. 21 minutes. No, no. That's going to take me an 18 minute warp. 15 minute warp. Holy crap. So I can't go to another planet. It's going to take me 15 minutes to get there. Oh, I, can, I can make it one way. I don't have a warp cell, so I can't make it back. Time. Time to activation. Wow.
I need a fabricator. Yep. Yeah. So I need, I need things. All right, so let's get back. Let's stay in this sphere. Um, where am I? My ship. Ah, so left. Every station. Okay, let's have a look. Um, let's go to Broken Marble. Um, add customer. Take it over there. Okay, four minutes. That's fine. And then we'll do a scan and we'll see and see what we can find. Yeah, I found nothing so far. I do like the fact now that once it's set you can get up and you can go do your own thing. Can I sit on those? No, oh, I can't. Look at the planet. It's planet. Be moving past that planet, but yeah, it's um, so yeah, the life support air tank empty. What? No consumption of power. Fourteen rate. Why is my air tank empty? Four hundred. Yeah, I know. I know the ship cannot make air. I mean, it's a cool little ship. I'm just getting used to what I can and can't do. Yeah, I've, I've got. I've given it the um, containment field generators, so they kind of have pumped it up to maximum power. Yeah, I think it's good that they give you the small ship first and you have to hunt for the big ship. Although... I mean, it is pressurized. Yeah, which is kind of good. Now I've got, what I've managed to get so far, I've managed to get two of these, I just haven't got the, the, the jetpack thing. 
Call it Teoshi. Don't know why that's not done. And Mr. Gypsy! Thank you for the host, Mr. Gypsy. How are you, sir? Haven't seen you for Yonks. The Gypsy works when I'm streaming now. So rude. <laughs> Gypsy used to be here all the time. So what are you up to in Kerbal? I haven't actually I haven't played Kerbal for a while. I mean too busy playing Battletech. I oh, love Battletech. So good. Today is Monday. <laughs> nice. Yeah, see, look at this. Look what these guys have done. See, they've got the... Um, They've just used textures to do the wires and stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look like they've modeled every single wire. But I mean, you do, do you really need that? Do you need them to model every single wire? You know, it's kind of like... There's a lot of stuff that they've done that looks good without being too... Crazy. All right, so let's have a look here. My ship. Um, can I? All right, so scan. Ah, oh, there's stuff. Object cluster. So, derelict. They're all derelicts. Where's the non derelict stuff? Military outfit. Let's go over there. Ah, crap. That will be as it's getting into... That will be as it's getting into the, um... <sighs> the cloud of stuff. And that's what kill, almost killed us last time. But let's not go there. Corridor. I need to scan for stuff that is actually useful to me. None of the stuff is actually useful. Maybe it is now. Maybe you actually have to go there. I don't know. Alright, let's walk there. We're just going to go over there and have a look. You used to be able to scan and find parts of the ships in that. I don't know if they've changed that. If you actually have to go find them amongst derelicts and stuff like that. But I haven't found any actual sections of ships I could I could take back 
to my station. Which is a bit of a problem. Module so sharp. Okay, because I haven't seen a single module yet. I've walked to a couple of places and never seen a module. I don't know if they're just harder to come by or if somebody's cleaned them out. I don't know. Very, very weird. Where do you find your modules? Inside the border of the debris field. Oh, okay. uh, you mean so in yeah, so. so I mean inside, inside, close to Bethia or? by the other planets. Got all the asteroids there. Are you talking about this inside this border? Because there's yes a debris field over here. Each planet seems to have one. Apparently this ship is going to the into the inside of the debris field over here. So this will be inside the debris field. Um just scan over there. Yeah, maybe it's not scanning inside to find that. We'll see. When we get inside, yeah, we'll run a scan and we'll see what's, what's up. Everest Station. Oh. Yeah, we could do that. Hey, Mr. Mighty Roth. How are you, sir? I know Mighty Roth. I got an end. Yeah. I what is that game, Mighty, that you've been playing? And why are you, why are you forgetting about poor Anne? Helen is great. There's been some good changes. It looks a lot prettier now. Alright, so here we go, we've got this. These are the derelicts. Okay, so Yeah, so look at the look at the look at the way they've done the map. So you can So they've actually got a really nice map. You finished it today? Nice. Alright, so go to my ship. So my ship is over there. Alright, let's run a scan. Let's see if... Oh! Something else showed up. Nothing. Yeah, the map is much better. 
they've done a good job. That's kind of, but even the screens, even the, um, all the ship screens and the piloting, I like, I like this now using the one, two, three, four. They go to docking, go to the map, you go to that, you don't need to. It's better, I mean, the buttons were, the buttons were nice, but, you know, it was a bit of a pain. Yeah, so I do like this. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure once, um, you know, they get the UI sorted, the animations will come back in. Yeah, well, that, well, this is, you see, this is, this is what I kind of, um, this has always been my problem. People say, oh, my immersion, my immersion, my immersion, I'm being immersed, immersed. And the problem with it is, it's nice the first few times, it feels great, it looks great, everything's, but, but it, it's like, it's the same with like, you know, when you get quest, quest things and that, all you do at the end of the day is you just press F, 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 or enter, 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 and you skip everything because you're not interested. You just want to get, do what you need to do. So, real life and game, two different things. You know, it's, you want the stuff to be quick so you can actually get on with it. You've got a limited time, you've got to sort it out. Although the big problem with the ship, I mean, they, they did nerf the, the other ship, but I mean, look at it. Look, you can even give yourself flags and stuff like that. The chain ship, self-destruct. Um, they've got this over here. You've got your storage room, but what the storage room actually needs is it probably needs a box or two to put the some stuff in like maybe some boxes over here um then you've got your suit room your airlock and the engine room then you get a demonstration of the self-destruct for you are some no but look at these new things Bubble. And here you go, make important phone calls. All right, Marty. Thanks for thanks for popping in. Oh, so let's. Oh, I can't actually close this one. Okay. Um. We've got derelicts over there. I'm really not picking up anything worth going to. Got a derelict? Oh god, no! Oh, we've just entered the debris field. <laughs> These debris fields are pains in the asses. Ship. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ship.
Shit! Crap! Oh! Should actually close that door. <sighs> yes, I don't know. That's the problem. This is a problem. My wife is looking for the cat. She's looking for the little the little girl cat. Alright, so ramming other ships, not a good idea anymore. Not a good idea. Oh crap! I'm venting. I'm venting. This, this is the type of thing that if I was playing with the sum, I'd send a sum to outside to fix everything up and then I'd fly off without him once he's finished. That's that's what I'd do. It's what, it's what the sum is good for. He's like the fixer monkey.
Right, so I close. Uh, ordering year round. I would never order year round or some. I'll just give you a handy hint on what to do. And how you should do it. And that you should do it now. What? There's something up there broken. Bedroom. Oh, it can't pressurize anymore. I don't know why this is. Yeah, it's closing in case we have another accident. Alright. Um. Really not picking up anything. Yeah, I and Let me see. Oh, there you go. Okay, I think we repaired it all. It does actually make it a little bit difficult to find the things sometimes. Yeah, um, they probably need to, I don't know, give a little bit better of an indication of where, of where the damage is. Yeah, there probably needs to be a slightly better indication. Into free field. I would tell it to you 100%. Oh, nice. Oh. Um. Damn to can I Oh come on So what I'm going to do... Yeah, 
the Play this safe. Yeah, deep pressure. So this is in case. Uh, this is in case um, oh, so I've depressurized this whole thing in case we get hit by um, more things. Which undoubtedly will happen. And at least our air is safe in here. Door labels, yeah. Son of a bitch! Oh, son of a bitch! Chip will arrive in ten minutes. Whoa. That was rude. I'll see, I'll see if I can try to pick it up and bring it back. Okay. So, this just in. Military bases, not good places. Yeah. 
damn it! Oh, so it's got to call it. So basically, this is one of the problems that they had. Is that once you die, all of a sudden you're stuck on here and you can't do anything. So they added in another button to um, you know, call call a ship if your if your current ship is you know if you get stuck on your station with no ship. Yeah, I can put this for other people. Unregister. Ah, so anybody can then jump into my station. But again, we're gonna be trying to keep this going the whole week. What have we got here? A refinery. See, the, the, the screen is so much nicer now. Let's do the nitrate. Fine. Very nitrogen and nitro. And then the dry house is creating oxygen. The oxygen is not for air anymore. That's kind of the weird thing. Now you actually have air. I'm not sure what that. That's. I think that's a mix of nitrogen and oxygen. I'm not quite sure how that works. So if I put some oxygen in the outpost, ah, so if I put they are put thirty. Ah, there you go. That's the so yeah, you dump the air, oxygen and that creates air. And then the air you you would use to throw into the um, into the other ship. Okay. So this does it in the correct in the correct ratio. Yep. Yeah, that, that's what I noticed. I moved the air into it. But it, it does it in the correct ratio, so that's good. before the other ship arrives. No integrity. 95. So there is some damage. Oh, well, let's go. We need to go outside. So let's go outside. Oh, shit. Oh, I've got no... Oh, I've got no repair tool. Oh! I've got to find a repair tool. Oh, Jesus, that's not a good thing.
Okay, generator. There you go. What the G mean? Oh, gravity. Now, where do we put the space wrench? Yeah, actually, no, no, I, I, I need another. Don't forget to put your hood down. Oh, the temperature will matter. Uh, remember, they're still going to add things like um, hydroponics and stuff like that. That's still going to be added in because at the moment they haven't got food and water. But that's something that's going to have to be in there as well. So they... It's kind of interesting what they're doing. Is they are... Oh, this needs to... This needs to repair. Space weed. Perhaps the space toilet. Well, another interesting game that you know does all this stuff is uh, Stationers. Oh, there you go. Yeah, here he comes. The ropes. Therapies. I call us the ropes, but I think the proper name is therapies. Grab old! Shit, I missed it. Welcome to space. Wait. It's easy to shoot past things. Too much room on all sides. But you know, the one thing about space is at least you can stretch. The space is big. I mean, really, really big. After all. Yeah, this is the uh, the new patch introduced this um, the new patch introduced a new ship so you don't start with the mule anymore you start with the ship called uh, the therapies it's um, 
So the difference with this ship is it's got no airlock docking port. So you can't actually dock to the station with this. Space is big. Really, really big. But as long as you got your towel, it's all cool. Alright, so the engineering. Ah oh, crap, this has got none of those things yet. Hey, one mysterious guy. Oh, so I'm gonna claim it. Uh, let's change the ship name. And the ship emblem, Grumpy Cat. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said you got to bring your towel. Got to bring your towel. In fact, the PvP group, are you? if I make a PvP group, the, the name of the group is usually... Power that up. The name of the group is usually called... Um, I'm mostly harmless. Ah, so that should be powering up. Excellent. Okay, so we're getting... Alright, so... I don't know. Oh, it's Grumpy Cat. Alright, so, um... My ship. Uh, broken marble. Military outpost. Warp 2. I'll make it this time. Okay, initial. I like, like that they've got those arrows now. Uh, that's not going to end well. Alright, that's not going to end well. Um. Oh, well left. Oh, shit! Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Let's see if I can get that guy, oh, okay. Wanna go there? Warp 2. Oh, that's alright. Yeah, that looks alright. Right, that's... Okay, that's gonna miss it now. Ah, shit! Keep moving it.
Alright, we are getting ready to warp. Uh, basically, <coughs> we decided to go visit a military outpost and we left our ship and we got shot. So now we're going to try to see if we can catch, get our ship back. Yeah, they they've definitely have improved the map though. So once this starts... So, I mean, look at the look at the way they've done the map. So it's much better. And once you initial, and once you set the thing, you don't need to be there. So. You can kind of put the, thing, the ship on the maneuver node and that, then you can walk out and it will automatically fire off. Uh, this is okay. So this is a space game. There are no planetary landings or anything like that. None of that is planned uh, It is pure space survival, but what it's done is it's really Hit hard on the Newtonian physics like if you look at this um, so, I mean yeah look at now this is my ship over here, it's going. So this is the orbital path. If I have to stop warp now, this would be my orbital path. It would actually fall into this planet. Right, so it has to get enough speed. And also the ships travel at the speed in the verse. So, so there's no kind of, um, you know, jumping into alternate things and that you could actually see other ships moving around and stuff like that you see there look look at the orbital path is changing you see how i would have done like that one really weird thing now see it's changing changing to try and match it up with the one it's going to So it's really, I mean, it's gone the whole orbital mechanics and stuff like that. Really, really cool. Ah, right, so there's my ship. Ah, right, so this military outpost ended up kicking my ass. Now, I wonder if I can the blue man ship I cannot do this anchor oh. this is going to be interesting I don't know if I can anchor anchor to it and then take the ship away I've probably got my corpse floating out there somewhere. Yep, that is, that is, that is true. But I need, I'll need to, I'll need to. Um, 
I would need to leave my ship, but that's that uh, seems to be the issue. He's actually leaving my ship. I got killed by turrets. If these guys can anchor, Oh, no, no, I need to get out of here. Damn it, I didn't read that angle right. I didn't read that angle right. the anchor right at all. But um now will this stop moving? Yeah, I think it has. Okay. Now, let's do this, this. I'm going to put it there. And a bit down. Yeah. In this game, space bumping is serious shit because if you space bump it's like the stuff doesn't slow down now they, they actually had to add in they actually had to add in modules that kind of auto sort of um if they got rcs they auto rectify themselves Oh, that's a little bit flatter. Okay, that's much better. There we go, much better. I right, slow down to point.
Done. Okay. So we are docked. Right. So. Moving away from the military outpost. Yeah, I remember bumping stuff and trying to do the interstellar impossible dock. <laughs> it is already a hard dock. Okay, so. Um, now we are going to go to a home station. Warp 2. before I've lost its space <laughs> I've lost its space damn it I wanted to see if I could try and get to that military thing and if I die I'll be home but that's not a problem you think it's a problem I see it as an opportunity to show you what will happen when you do this. Uh, it's through the music, it's slow. The sky. Suffocate. But again, no, continue. Oh god, have I got another spacesuit? <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, because we just got into the dark zone. That's enough. Yeah. But somebody's got to do it. If I don't show you, if I don't show you guys how it's done. Yes, I still have no repair gun, however... However...
There's the weed whacker. All right, so because I sent my ship, I sent my. Sh that's the that's the thing you can do now. You can send your ship. You can send them to warp without. And there they are. The weed whacker and a blue man. Oh yeah, no, it, and that's and it actually does happen in this game. It does happen. You see, there's kind of this new EVA suit. So this guy is all done. Um. Oh, no, no, actually. Um, connected. Oh, so the weed whacker. Oh, I can't move the air across, can I? Weedwack is a good name. Uh. All right, so what we're going to do. Just want to see. Um, I'll press. Um, This ship up to Let's see now.
Oh, so I'm gonna drop him over there. And across. There we go. Look at that. I'm working on. I'm working on fantastic. So, 1920 by 1080, fantastic. It's and later. So it's the graphics are. Pretty much okay at the moment. 3.5 2 meters. Okay, done. Could also call a random and leave the phone in the speaker. The heavy breathing. <laughs> yes. True. True. Right, let's go grab the weed whacker. So it's just slow FPS once I have several modules. Yeah, yeah, it's um I mean it's it's really depends on your machine. Um a lot of factors. At the moment, I haven't got a lot together, but yeah, when I um, have a station with about six modules all plugged in together, it used to uh, be a little bit difficult. But now what we did do is we did um, nothing else okay um five minutes uh, actually can I cancel it no because I want to get all the air See if I can get if I can actually scavenge all that air. Right, um hard press. That's that's why I was going to self-destruct, but then I thought, hey, let me grab the air, then I can at least have one good ship. 
But look, look, you can see uh, the, the debris happening now. It's only seething. <laughs> Sixty-nine, sixty-nine. Hmm. I don't know what that fit in there. I don't think that would be able to. I actually, don't think that will be able to link up there. I'll be able to hmm maybe I might not have built a station but I've got a station full of ships and what's more important, a station or a station full of ships? Oh god, I'm playing Helion like Star Citizen. I'm just collecting all the ships. <laughs> Not actually playing the game, just collecting the ships. Where's Foible? Foible, does that make you angry? <laughs> I remember the first time this this came out. Um, the spacesuit that I'm wearing now. The spacesuit that I'm wearing now, the first spacesuit that you had, the air lasted such a small amount of time. That you had to be so good at docking and stuff like that. Wow! Um, let's actually let's actually put the stuff back. Oh, no, 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 we keep it. We're gonna lose the weed whacker. Uh, where's the exit? Wow. <laughs> Grumpy cat. <laughs> it puts a lotion on its skin. Mmm, lotion. <laughs> well, they did the right stream, Swedish. Oh, I'm, I'm wearing a spacesuit. I, I depressurized the ships. I depressurized those ships. 
um, those ships have got no no pressure in. Right, so this is what I can do. Right, so weed whacker. Right, so the nitro I can bring across. The oxygen I can bring across. Oh, yeah. Oxygen. Nitro? Oh, I can't. Eh? Interesting. Okay, um... Uh, blue... Oh, the blue man shut the bridge room. Oh, they're not closed. Oh, so the bridge has got a problem. Oh, capacity. Yeah, okay. Damn it. Right, so I'm not going to destroy this just yet. However, it is 20, it is 20 past 11, so I'm going to have to stop now. I'll be back tomorrow and we'll continue the same group. Um... What I'm going to do... Where the hell did I the helmet? Oh, there. How do you take your main suit off? Oh. Hmm. How do you take your main suit off again? Yeah, I, I did. I did actually move it to the other ship. I'll remove our fish. Um, where the hell did I put the outfit? Did it just disappear? Oh, that's a bug. That's a bug. Now, they used to be able to remove the outfit with everything in it. And then it would... Um, you could actually... It's a, it was a way to store a lot of stuff. Is you put on outfits, you, you pack the pockets full, and then you take them off. Um... But that was, that appears to be an actual bug. Yeah, it used to be a great way to store stuff. Because the stuff is in the suit. Now let's just try it. So I mean the server is open, so if anybody wants to play on the server, you are welcome to.
It's got an incredibly low ping, the server. For me. Because it's right there. <laughs> literally, it's literally right there. Alright, and... Oh, cool. Um... <sighs> Where can I put you? Oh, let me just dump this over here. Oh, that's interesting. That's That is actually incredibly weird. All right, well, anyway, what I'm doing... Getting back. Cross sleepy dot over. <laughs> uh, yes. Out of body experience. That was... Okay, that's weird. Weird? Why is my... Oh, so removing suits is not working. Moving suits is not working. That's a different bug. Absolute bug there. Anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to put ourselves um, put ourselves to sleep, and then. Uh, we are going to continue this tomorrow. So if anybody wants to join in, please feel free to do so. Uh, the server, you can find it on the Hellion list. The lungs lost in space. And yes, it's in Thailand. So zero millisecond ping. Yay. Zero millisecond. So it's... um. Yeah, for the suit, but... Hmm... Okay, that is bizarre. Why is it doing that? I don't know why it's doing that. Oh god, I've got no more suits. Oh, 
Okay, well, when we start in, we'll start with the speed of going. Gotta get a sound to bring you one. Now, I wasted all of it by jumping out of, um, by jumping out of ships. So instead, what I'll do is I'll just go to bed with it. And I'll float around. You ready? Oh, I can't float around anymore. Damn it. Now nobody can see my stuff. Alright, so, um, yeah, so what, that's what we're going to end up tonight. I'll <laughs> bring you one and leave it outside. But some, you know, we've actually done in this game. So what you do is before when we had suits in a spacecraft and no suits in the space station, you used to park your spacecraft just outside the airlock with the door open. Okay, with the, the airlock open and the, you know, so somebody used to be in the spacecraft and um, then the other person used to go with no suit or anything, go in the airlock and they used to open the thing and that used to shoot them out, like, like a cannon out into the other spacecraft's airlock where they used to, the person inside used to close the door and repressurize immediately. And he could actually transfer between ships that way. <laughs> you could actually, you could do that. So you could do it without a suit. You could actually get to the other spacecraft without a suit. You don't, you don't, you, the problem is you couldn't wait for it to depressurize. You just had to shoot yourself through space. <laughs> like a cannon. Yeah, and you had to do it really, really quick. Because otherwise you died. But you, there was... And the others had to be really quick to hit that repressurized thing. Space cannon. Yeah. Done it. It's great. But anyway, this is where we are going to leave it tonight. Now, tomorrow at 6 a.m. UTC, I am going to be back for Battletech. And then tomorrow night, we are going to continue with Hellion. Try to find some more things and um, stuff. Hopefully, I haven't completely screwed myself up here. <laughs> uh, so I'm, uh, I can believe you do that. So, okay, you ready? Everybody ready? Ready? Uh, so close the door. Boom. <laughs> Space splatter. <laughs> yep, I can definitely see how some doing that. But anyway, this is where we are ending tonight. So, 6 a.m. tomorrow, UTC for some Battletech. And then tomorrow night, 12 p.m. UTC. We are going to continue with Hellion. If you want to join, please do. Uh, it's definitely a lot more fun with people, especially when you start building up the station. But it's changed a lot. A lot has changed. Um, and we definitely need to find modules and stuff like that. So anyway, that's where we are going. So let's see who else is streaming at the moment that we can throw this host to. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. All right. Is anybody else... Is anybody else actually playing Hellion? Let's have a look. Or am I the only one playing Hellion? Oh, there is somebody else. There are some other people. Oh, well, you know what? No face cam. So I think what we're going to do is I am going to host Mr. Warpath. So just because you love my accent, he is another South African streamer, part of the Sovereignty stream team. And um, he is playing some Elite, which is a game. Space game. But it's a, a much different space game to this. This is a space survival game very big difference so anyway till then you guys yourself well and i will see you tomorrow next time utc bye